Welcome back. OK, picture this here. You're driving down the street. Then you notice flames coming from under your hood. That's scary. And mm -hmm. that's what happened to one South Florida man in the car shortly after it had been serviced. He made it out safely, but now months later, he's still working to find out who's responsible for the damage. NBC six consumer investigator <laughs> Sasha Jones has some advice if this happens to you, Sasha. One attorney says finding out who is liable in a situation like this starts with you, the consumer making quick decisions right after it happens. It took only a matter of minutes. I smelled the smoke strong and then I saw some brown smoke from from the wood for Alvin Williams drive to turn into a dangerous situation. Park, get out of the car real quick and dial 911. Flames shooting feet into the air. Do you feel lucky to be alive? Yes, very lucky to be alive. His car, a total loss. Alvin had just picked up his 2014 Mercedes-Benz C250 Sport from the Mercedes-Benz of Palm Beach Service Center, a different Mercedes dealer than where he bought the car six months prior for around $23,000. The car's high-pressure fuel pump was replaced, a service covered under the car's limited warranty. But on the drive home, this happened. At least tell me why the car caught on fire. Car just don't caught on fire like that. Alvin's car was towed straight to the dealership that had done the repairs. He hoped they make things right. Instead, they told him they didn't know what started the fire. All they knew was that the rubber fuel hose that they removed and reinstalled while replacing the mechanical fuel pump was intact. But another hose was burned and missing. Then the car maker Mercedes-Benz USA looked at it and told us it found no defects in the vehicle from a manufacturing or design standpoint. And the issue appears to relate to repair performed by Mercedes-Benz of Palm Beach. But the dealership declined to comment. If the manufacturer nor the dealership have an interest in assisting him, then that's why we have a court system. Attorney Patrick Cousins says there are steps consumers can take to protect their pocketbooks if this happens, starting with hiring your own expert. If you get that kind of documentation early, then it puts the consumer in a really good position to figure out who is at fault in that situation. Next, he says, read your purchase agreement. Find out if it includes an arbitration clause. If you take your car from the dealership being serviced and it catches on fire, that the arbitrator is going to find somebody responsible, and it clearly isn't the consumer. Finally, be persistent. So that frustration process, a factor I should say, comes in, and then people say, ah, forget about it, but stick to it. And if you can't stick to it, then you know, hire someone. Alvin doesn't plan on giving up until he gets answers. If they're the best, at least take care of the problem. Now, Mercedes-Benz USA advised Alvin to work directly with his insurance provider to resolve this issue, but his insurance offered him thousands less than what he initially paid for the car, and he still wants Mercedes-Benz to take full responsibility. Now, we know in Alvin's case that his car was used, so what options do consumers have out there if they have a new car? Well, Florida's Lynn Milan does provide some protections if you have a new car. If you can prove that your car has had reoccurring issues within those first two years, mm -hmm. then they do provide for arbitration. And in some cases, you may be eligible for a refund or even a replacement vehicle. Sasha Jones, NBC6 Response.